This tiny thing in my hands is a brand new Quicktel's BC660K GL module for LPWA networks. What is it good for and what is it capable of? Hello my friends, this is new episode of Quex and I am your host Dmitry Yermany. If you are new to Quex, here is a short introduction. Quex are in-depth technical videos about Quicktail products, so here on YouTube you can get the latest news on Quicktail modules and antennas, but that's not all. We are also going to do some different sorts of tests, explore module modes and features and have fun with programming. Moreover, after each episode there will be Quex Masterclass webinar with topics related to the video, which will go into more details, there is also a Q&A session. To stay tuned, consider subscribing to the Quicktel channel and turn notifications on so you won't miss any new Quex episodes. As I just mentioned, BC660K module is for low power wide area networks, namely for NB-IoT radio technology standard. In particular, it supports the latest LTE CAD NB2 technology. That's probably the best standard for IoT applications at the present. If you don't have to find a compromise with transitional solutions to support the existing device network for newly developed applications, NB IoT is the first standard you should pay attention to. Let's find out why we should choose NB IoT from among the other radio technology standards. Here's an interesting comparison chart my colleagues made for better understanding of different tags, pros and cons. Here we can see two groups of indicators. The first group is economical, it represents the total cost of ownership. And the second group is purely technical. Let's look closer to the leaders according to this chart, the NB-IoT and LoRa. Firstly, we can see that considering hardware costs, setup investments, operational expenses and ecosystem maturity, in total NB-IoT and LoRa are more or less equal. LoRa is cheaper at the setup stage and NB-IoT is cheaper in operation. But when it comes to future-proving technology, NB-IoT is far ahead of competitors. What does it mean when we say future-proven technology? It is simple. NB-IoT has been classified as a 5G technology since GPP release 13 in 2016. So these standards belong to the stack of technologies that without any doubt will be growing for the many years. In all the technical aspects, NB-IoT is better or at least just as good as LoRa. That's why we recommend NB IoT for your projects. And LTE CAT NB2, the latest release of the standard, good for nearly all IoT applications. Lowest power consumption with smaller batteries and as a consequence overall device size. Increased data speed rates and multicast mode, multi-carrier operation and enhanced mobility also higher positioning accuracy. These improvements we can note comparing NB2 to the previous NB1 standard. What did we miss? Oh, the low cost. All these features make CAT NB2 the best in class leading LPWN technology. That's why more and more operators all around the world support it. At the January of 2022, there were already 108 operators with rolled out NB IoT networks, with 164 existing mobile networks totally according to GSMA. And take a look at the cellular IoT connection number forecast. Here we have June 2021 Ericsson mobile report data. In the next five years, the number of connections is going to increase from the current number of around 2.5 billion to approximately 5.4 billion and the segment of NB-IoT 
and the CAD-M, which is the massive IoT technologies, is expected to be almost the half of this number. And that's a huge number indeed. I hope I've just made the choice a bit easier for ones of you who have to make it. Now let's see what Quicktail offers to create applications to be used in NB IoT networks. BC660KGL is a multi-band module with dimension of 17.7 by 15.8 millimeters and a very low profile of just 2 millimeters. The module weight is just about 1.2 grams. This is really tiny thing and that's going to save space on the device board. Talking about the board, module pin layout and footprint is compatible with Quicktail BC65, 66, 66NA and BC68 series and BIoT modules. It is also compatible with M66 GSM GPRS modules. That is good if you want to upgrade existing solution based on these modules and save the development cost. BC660K GL is based on Qualcomm chipset, which is enough to guarantee quality and highly competitive power. But let's go through the specs. The BC660K GL module is global version that works in 17 bands with a maximum data downlink peak rate of 127 kilobits per second and uplink peak rate of 158.5 kilobits per second, as it specifies for LTE CAT and V2 standard. As for hardware interfaces, here you can see all that are currently supported, with the note that I2C, PWM, SPI are only supported for the Quake Open module version, which is coming soon. If you never heard about Quake Open before, it is method where the module is acting as a main processor. So you can utilize the IoT module computing power for your applications. In chip shortage condition, Quake Open is a game changer. It helps shorten the product development time, simplify the circuit design, decrease the product size and power consumption, and as a result, effectively reduce the product cost. If you want to know more about Quake Open, leave a comment down below this video. The module has a rich set of protocols supported. BC660K supports the embedded SIM as an option. You can get the custom eSIM version if space requirements are critical for your design and if you want the advantages of improved reliability and network security. Another feature of BC660KGL is that it supports a wider power supply voltage range. Lower voltage allows the use of lithium manganese and lithium zinc cells. One of the main advantages of this module is its incredibly low power consumption due to the supported power saving modes, which are PSM, DRX and EDRX. These values are based on chipset specs. In next videos about this module, we are going to focus solely on power saving modes, testing and demonstration. Stay tuned, we are going to publish it very soon. Besides such advanced feature as Quake Open, this module will also support battery voltage detection. This feature is under development now. And Quicktail's DFOTA which is Delta firmware over the air upgrade is already available. This feature helps to drastically reduce traffic consumption. As I mentioned before, this module is great choice for any IoT application to work in LTE, CAT and B2 network. That could be various meters, detectors, trackers or controllers in device networks or of any scale and industry. Assets tracking, sure, thanks to improved mobility. Smart home appliances, no problem. Soil condition detectors for agriculture, extended coverage allows that also. Smart street lighting, NB2 is great for massive connectivity. In our next quest, I'm going to do a demo test for BC660K power saving modes. 
Then I'm going to show the BC660K EVB kit and how to use it, including kit unboxing, assembling and basic operations. Then there will be a video about more advanced operations with the module. If you don't want to miss all the fun, subscribe now and hit notification bell. And don't forget that if you need more information, there is a Quex Masterclass webinar for you. Check the links in the description under this video. Thanks for watching Quex and let's build a smarter world together.